Facing your fears is not easy, but it may be the most important thing to do when your fears get in the way of life. Confronting your fears in a planned manner while preventing avoidance is what therapists call exposure therapy. We set out to answer the questions, when does exposure therapy work or not work? With funding from the Wellcome Trust, we scoped the research conducted on exposure therapy in young people aged 14 to 24, reviewing 3,508 papers. We involved seven young people with lived experience of anxiety, five carers and eight clinicians from around the world at each stage of the project. Most research found exposure-based treatments to be effective in treating anxiety conditions, which included specific phobias, social anxiety, OCD and PTSD. The most common ways to do exposure were either using real-life confrontations or through imagination, while gradually increasing the difficulty. Preliminary findings suggest that exposure works best when it happens in multiple contexts, it's made more challenging, exposure-based homework is assigned and completed, and exposure is conducted in the closer to sleep. There is even emerging evidence for the use of virtual reality or computer-based programs in conducting exposures, but it's still early days. From the research and discussion with our stakeholder groups, we found that exposure doesn't work when what's learnt isn't practised outside of therapy. Other mental health problems complicate the treatment or the therapist and client have a poor relationship. Exposure therapy was not always offered by the therapist, even when most of the research supports its effectiveness. More research is still required, focusing on comparing pure exposure with exposure-based packages to determine whether add-ons like breathing exercises and cognitive strategies optimises the exposure, and examining the effectiveness of exposure therapy in treating generalised and separation anxiety. The evidence for exposure is promising, but we need a systematic program of research to understand how exposure works across this critical age and all the anxiety disorders.